What's up, guys? Have grasshoppers become an unwelcome guest in your garden or your house? Well, this is my review on Nolo Bait. It works pretty well, it's a little creepy, and these are my tips and tricks. <laughs> All right, guys, so Nolo Bait. It's creepy, but it works. That should be the slogan of it. It's biological warfare at its finest against grasshoppers. Now, keep in mind, though, it turns them into little zombies. It, uh, as you can see by the picture here, it changes their eyes into a glazed gray state and turns them into little zombies. And here comes the apocalypse because... Once they get in a weakened state, the rest of the colony realizes that, and then they start eating them. And that is how the pathogen is spread. And that's kind of the genius part behind Nolibate and why it spreads so quickly. But without the population density, you're better off just going to uh, regular insect control. In gardens, I would suggest Carbaryl. Uh, if it's not a garden area, you can use anything between Tempo SC, Suspend Polyzone, and Demand CS are gonna be my top three choices. So I've used this product for a couple of years and it works really, really well, but there are a couple of things I, I wanna make a very apparent for you guys at home. Uh, number one, it's for organic production. So it's classified as a biological insecticide or Nosema uh, locuste. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. Um, but it basically inserts a pathogen into the grasshoppers. So since this is a live product, you wanna be very careful about your formulation date. Now, per the product label on the back, it says it lasts for 13 weeks or up to uh, 91 days, according to the label. My, my problem with this is if you look at the uh, storage for optimal storage temperature of 42 degrees Fahrenheit for best results, they don't even store this at 42 degrees at most of the stores that they sell it. So I can guarantee you your best bet is about 45 to 60 days uh, from this formulation date. Now, you do want a population density of eight or more grasshoppers per square yard, which is nine square feet. So this is going to work great for garden areas um, and heavy foliage areas of where your shrubs and ornamentals lie. In my experience, when you're applying Nolo Bait, you should keep it dry, relatively dry for 48 hours, 24 hours at a minimum. The problem is when it gets wet, it gums up. It's, it's almost like sawdust and you want to apply it in areas that don't get water. I wouldn't apply this in a grass area or a lawn area that you're going to be watering often. Uh, you can apply it to the outer edges of your garden area, or if you can afford to go 48 hours without watering in a garden area, that's what I would recommend. Uh, a handheld spreader is the easiest way to do it. Again, your five teaspoons per hundred square feet or one cup per thousand square feet. It was specifically designed for grasshoppers and grasshoppers only, so there's no secondary kill to it. But who figured this out? I don't know. Grass Timing of the application in Olivate is key. You don't want to go too early and you don't want to go too late. You want to be about the third instar, which is just a fancy way of saying that it shed its skin three times and it's reached half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Now, if you do this correctly, you're gonna have 50% of the grasshoppers will die off before reaching the adult stage, and that's key. If you now, don't have a population big enough of grasshoppers for the pathogen to spread through, it takes about three to six weeks uh, from the time the grasshopper eats the Nolo bait to the time that it dies. So it's kind of pointless if you don't have enough grasshoppers in the area, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to curative measures of just spraying them directly. But guys, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please hit me up in the comments. Love to talk to you about it. <laughs> if you haven't already liked the video or subscribed to my page, please do. Again, this is Pestalon Ginger, Grasshoppers. I'm out. We'll see you next time. Bye.